Hello everyone and welcome to another video. This time we are going to look at the history of Brough in East Yorkshire. The name Brough is believed to have derived from the Gaelic Burr, meaning falsified place. There is evidence of Neolithic and Bronze Age settlements in the area. Brough became the capital of the Parisii tribe around 150 BC. The Romans occupied the site between about 70 AD and 125 AD, building a fort called Petruaria. By 270 AD, the town of Petruaria covered around 12 acres. The present-day Burr's field covers about a third of the old Roman site. By the 4th century, the town was in decline, with York having become more important. The rising water levels had silted up the haven, and eventually most of the fortifications were demolished, with the stone being taken to be used in Kingston-upon-Hull. In 1239, the local lord attempted to create a weekly market at Burgess-upon-Humber, as Bruff was then known. However, he was unsuccessful in this attempt, and Ellerton stayed as the more prominent place at this time. Dick Turpin lived in the Brough and Welton area under the odious John Palmer in 1737-9, when he was arrested and executed for horse theft. And as an aside, actually, it's quite an interesting story in itself, outside of the scope of this video in a way, but I'll just mention it now. He was actually caught as a result of his handwriting, because... Back then, letters that were posted, the person that was receiving the letter paid the postage, not the person that posted it. And he posted a letter to somebody, and they sent the letter back saying, I don't know who this John Palmer is. But the person that worked at the postal sorting office, or the equivalent at the time, happened to be his old school teacher, and had recognised the writing. Hence leading to his capture and arrest. But anyway, I'm going off at a tangent now, which I'm good at doing. So by 1796, the population of Ellerton Cumbroff was 355. By 1905, this had risen to 1009, helped by the opening of Bruff Railway Station in 1840. At the turn of the 20th century, there was little development in Bruff, most development being around the crossroads and station road, although there was a little bit of development on Skillings Lane as well. This changed in the years before the First World War, with a number of houses being built on King Edward Terrace and Salt Grounds Road. In 1916, the Blackburn Aircraft Company opened a factory in Brough, which attracted many more people to the village, obviously because there was more jobs here. Since the Second World War, a lot of new housing development has taken place in both Brough and Ellerton, with a new development currently being built at Brough South. Blackburn's factory is still there, and it became part of Hawker Siddeley in 1960, and subsequently part of British Aerospace. BAE still have a presence on the site, although most of the factory site is now used by other industry and the old runway is being used as the basis of a new link road. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this short look at the history of Brough. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in a future video.